Hey guys, it's Multiplier, but with Plugin Boutique looking at the Eve 81 EQ plugin. And specifically, I'm going to actually EQ a snare so we can see how this thing actually sounds and how we would use it in practice. But first of all, let's talk a little bit about what this thing is because it's really cool. It's basically inspired by the Neve 1081. You may have guessed that from the name Eve 81, which is a legendary EQ that's been used for years and years and years. And some of the biggest tracks ever have been made using this particular. EQ. So it's a really great EQ and this plugin does a great job of trying to recreate and capture some of that original sound from the Neve. And there's basically two different plugins. There's the AT1 and the AT4. The AT1 is the more functional, the more, I suppose, the cleaner of the two, although they both still have that analog quality, whereas the AT4 is definitely more characterful, you might say. So for doing more broad strokes, you would probably go for the AT4. However, for doing Doing more what you might call functional EQ, like we're doing in this case, the shape of snare drum, we'll go to the AT1. It has some of that analog vibe, but at the same time, it still sounds nice and clean. So let's see how it actually works. First of all, let's look at the left hand side and the red control, which is a nice, simple high pass filter. It's approximately an 18 dB per octave filter, and it's got a nice curve to it, which recreates some of that original Neve sound. So what we can do, we can choose an appropriate position, which will roll off some of that bottom end, while at the same time, we don't want to remove any of the fundamental frequency of our snare drum. So let's give it a go. And similarly, we have a red control on the far right side, which is a low pass filter with a similar setting and a similar curve to it, except it's doing a low pass instead of a, a high pass filter. So what I want to do in this case, because it's quite a bright snare, I actually want to roll off quite a bit of the highs to be honest, to maybe turn it into more of a, I suppose you might say more of a warm housey snare. So it's not quite as bright, not quite as harsh. So I'm going to roll off quite a bit and I'm going to find just the right position. That's sounding pretty good. It's taking some of that top end off in a nice subtle way. And as you might expect, we do have an on off button in the top right, which allows us to turn off the processing if we want to remind ourselves what the original sounded like. So we'll give it a quick go turning it off and on so we can hear what we've done so far. Lovely stuff. And there's two more bits of shaping I want to do to this snare drum. I want to boost the fundamental and then scoop out some of the frequencies after the fundamental. What we can do to boost this fundamental is use the black control in the middle. First of all, we need to shift it into peak mode. So we will toggle it into peak. So it's a peak filter. We will choose a frequency. In this case, it's going to definitely be 180 because the fundamental of a snare is normally around 200 Hertz. And in this case, it does happen to be pretty much spot on 180. 80 hertz, and then we will choose an appropriate gain setting which will determine how much boosting we're doing to that particular frequency. So let's give it a go. Sounding pretty good. That'd be too far. So we'll dial it back. Perfect, so it's popping out a bit more, but at the same time, it's not unnatural. And finally, let's scoop out those mids after the fundamental, and we can use the control just to the right to do exactly that. This is a peak filter, and we can determine how broad or narrow the Q is for this particular filter shape with this toggle in the middle where it says broad or narrow. Approximately narrow is an 18 dB filter, whereas the broad is approximately 12 or so. In this case, I want it to be a little bit more narrow, so it's a bit more focused. I don't want any of the fundamental to get reduced as I apply this EQ. So I will toggle it into narrow. I will choose an appropriate frequency. In fact, this will take a bit of dialing into taste. Somewhere around here will be a nice starting point, I reckon, though. And we will pull back the gain so we're scooping out some of the frequencies. I'll give it a go and see if I can get it sitting just so.
And there you go, we've given our snare a nice bit of shaping. I'll give you one final before and after so you can hear the full effect of the EQ that we've done. So before, and after. And that is a look at the EVE81 EQ. I've been Multiplier, thanks for watching.